The most important thing in pulmonary hypertension due to chronic lung disease is really that the underlying disease itself is treated. So if you have COPD, that may mean optimizing your inhaler regimen, not smoking if you continue to do so, utilizing your oxygen as prescribed, whether that's during the day or overnight or with exercise. It can mean participating in pulmonary rehab to strengthen the muscles around your lungs so that you're overall healthier and better able to breathe. In some cases, treating the pulmonary hypertension actually means undergoing an evaluation for transplant because in many situations, that's the treatment that patients who have end-stage lung disease actually need. The important thing is to really treat whatever condition is causing the lung disease and then limit the things that can make it worse. So avoiding toxins like cigarette smoke, using your oxygen, and not exposing yourself to things that can make your pulmonary hypertension worse, which in a lot of cases is Simple things like excess salt and fluid, just managing those things can make a big difference. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, that might mean wearing your mask at night. In some cases, pulmonary hypertension due to chronic lung disease is treated within the context of a clinical trial. There are some trials that are looking specifically at pulmonary hypertension and chronic lung disease, and, and that may be an option depending on what disease you have. In some cases, the lung disease is caused by an autoimmune condition throughout the body and treating that autoimmune condition through a rheumatologist may be what's needed.